So this is a report I'll read you right here. According to Jonathan Givioni, Draft Express, the Blazers intend to hold on to the number three pick and select Brandon Miller or Scoot Henderson unless they receive an incredible deal, per Draft Express. Portland's goal is to remain competitive with Damian Lillard and build for the future with Anthony Simons, Shannon Sharp, and the number one, number three pick. However, Damian Lillard allegedly has come out and said he'd rather play with Zion Williamson than Brandon Ingram. And the Blazers are also prepared to make a significant offer to the Miami Heat for Bam Adebayo. And there was another tweet that came out last night that was a bit longer. And here it is. Bobby Marks criticizes Damian Lillard for not wanting to leave Portland. It's like, basically, he's just saying, get over it. But the big tweet came out last night around midnight. And... It discussed the fact that the, the Portland Trailblazers are really, really trying to figure out what the hell to do due to the fact that they have discussed OG Ananobi, they have discussed Pascal Siakam, and they have shown no interest in dealing the third overall pick. And while they are dangling the 23rd overall pick as a trade. So what is your thoughts on the, the fact that Damian Do you see that? Did you say BAM? Did you say the Blazers are trying to make an offer for BAM? They're, the Blazers are preparing to make the Miami Heat a significant offer for BAM out of bio, which I assume is the third pick, what? the 23rd pick. You okay, BAM's not goal. leaving Miami. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He just had an iconic, actually, NBA playoff uh, in no, the finals, Bam, right? Bam, 20, Bam, 20 and 10. He played well in the finals. Yeah. He rebounded from shitting the bed against Boston. Like, what is BAM going is on not in Portland? We don't know, but Bam is not leaving. Bam is all right, Brian Windhorst. We don't know, but Bam is not leaving the Miami Heat. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll second that. I think uh, I think Portland's pretty stupid here, man. I th we will. Take what trades are out there, though, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I take. Oh, I, there's one pretty big trade, and you can get a shit ton of value for it. And it's trading this guy named uh, Damian Lillard. You know, he's a pretty valuable player. You, if you trade him, you'll get a lot for it. True. I think um rebuild. We I don't, don't know if they want the to trade to be the new wizards. I would I would I would trade Dame and grab Amon Thompson immediately. Actually, is exactly what I would do. But uh from the from the Blazer standpoint, it's so funny because I keep seeing these reports that they want to build veterans around Dame. Dame wants veterans around him, but then they also want to prepare for the future. So you're not yeah. getting Scoot, by the way, because Scoot's going too. So like I don't know what future I love Shade and Sharp. I think he has star potential, but like you want to build around Anthony Simon, Shade and Sharp, and Brandon Miller. I mean, that's a no. horrible. Court. Anthony Simon is the, the worst defender in the NBA historically. The like Blazers a horrible are literally court. they're literally the Wizards of the West right now. That's yeah. what they're looking at. The Wizards of the West. Unless Damian they Lillard. trade Dame, unless they trade Dame and start tanking and getting a bunch of assets. With you when you have a like they have a their supporting cast like their second best players like what Anthony Simons, yeah, Shaden Sharp is like their second highest potential guy like I don't think and they said, the ceiling is very high. They said that Shaden Sharp was untouchable too. So like come on, I like Shaden. I like Shaden's future a lot, but so yeah, you can't. You have to do one or the other. You can't just you you can't do put you half a foot in the both. Yeah, I, like, Damian Lillard will are, request a trade soon. I think it'll be this. The, as the days yeah. go by, I think it's becoming more and more likely it'll be this summer. Because uh, they're not going to be able to do anything. I don't, yeah, I just don't. Yeah. We talked about this a little yesterday, like possible trades. And I'm like, every trade we run through for the Blazers, I'm like, are they, yeah, maybe you improve in the win category and you make the playoffs yeah. again, but you're not going to win a championship. You're not better, any. you're not even close to the Denver Nuggets. So yeah, I would uh, if I'm Damian. You're not Lillard, even better than the Lakers. I yeah, I'm looking at my roster and being about, like, I don't know what the hell you guys can do. If here. I were Yada. the Blazers, I've thought about this. You call up the Hornets and we, you say, Hey, do you guys really want Scooter? Do you guys want Brandon? Oh, you guys want Brandon? Okay, let's do a three-team trade where we trade you the third pick, you trade the second pick, okay? And they just whatever third team is moving up to the second pick. They they give up the assets to both the the Blazers and the Hornets. Assets go all around. Blazers end up with no picks and a bunch of vets. Hornets end up with the third pick. 
maybe a couple salary fillers and then whatever team let's say the pelicans end up going to two so like zion goes to the blazers I, I, if the hornets <laughs> take brandon Miller at two if i was a hornet fan i would move i would move I'd too move. I, would yeah, move. I would move <laughs> that would, that would be probably low-key will that would they be will nah nah it. michael jordan's goodbye i guess michael jordan's not even leaving he's just becoming a minority owner but yeah. i think michael jordan's parting gift will be like scoot henderson but Really? He's man? involved in this year's you crap. So. You underestimate the incompetence of the Charlotte Hornets. That's all I that's all I'm gonna they tell did, you. You know what? They did take LaMelo Ball. Yeah, I'll give him credit there. They took They LaMelo did take LaMelo Ball. But 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 let's let's be honest about this shit. The only reason they took LaMelo Ball is because the Warriors fucked up and took Wiseman ahead of them. Otherwise, they were gonna take Wiseman. That is very true. Yeah. yeah. At the time, yeah. LaMelo was still a pretty risky prospect. Though. He wasn't. He but was okay. a guy. Oh, bro. A basketball, a basketball player can. It's the same thing with Lonzo Ball. Like they have, there's worry. The the Ball brothers, the way they're viewed right now is nothing close to what it was when they came out of college. Lonzo has knees made of shredded cheese, so that you yeah. can't predict. You cannot predict, and he played well when he played. No, I completely agree. And yeah, Lonzo was like the best brother. Yeah, well, Lamelo is now, but yeah, like yeah. Lonzo, was, Lonzo was the best, but now he has knees made of shredded cheese, and you can't predict that. And then so. Leangelo's just being fucking colluded against. Yeah, like, low key, he actually is. <laughs> he actually yeah, I mean, is. like, like he actually could be on an NBA roster. There's a few players that have gotten two way contracts where I'm like, you're telling me Leangelo. You're worse than you're worse than Jello Ball. You're telling me Jello doesn't get a two way contract over you? Like, come on. I know, and it's it's ridiculous. Now. Let's. But so, he, what do you guys? To wrap up this segment, what do you guys think the Blazers are going to do? I no fucking idea. No fucking idea. Yeah, I mean they're, they're not trading. They're, they're not trading the really. pick. Yeah, yeah they'll, they'll probably take Brandon at three, and it'll be a. I mean, I just trade Dame already. I think just yeah. trade Dame. I would take Amon Thompson regardless at three. Uh, I think he could be your franchise player. <laughs>